At least. And pretty toasty, yeah. We've got the humidity mixed in and making it feel like 100 plus across the Metroplex. Happy to see, though, a, a pretty quiet radar for a pretty day out there. You can see, though, not so settled off to the east. We do have uh, some showers and storms across places like Arkansas and into Louisiana. They're across the Mid South, but here across Texas, a dry day, lots of sunshine, and very limited cloud cover. Frontal boundary really just north of us, keeping better rain chances that way. Now, as we take a look again, keeping it dry for you as we move on into the afternoon. One thing, though, that's not so nice about today are allergy numbers. As we take a look, grass high levels. If you're struggling today, that's probably the culprit. Maybe fungus, moderate levels as we check in there. Temperatures right now in the mid to upper 90s, 98 in Dallas. As we look at those, feels like temperatures, though. Feels like 102 for Dallas, 100 for Fort Worth. Winds out of the south, 10 up to 15 miles per hour. So at least we are keeping a little bit of that wind in the mix and warm across the board mainly 90s 95 Addison little out 98 how about Azel at 100 and Benbrook there as well so a couple of spots that have it looks like been able to jump up in the past hour and hit that triple digit mark as we go on through the overnight period look for temperatures to slowly drop off we'll have partly cloudy sky a dry night as we go ahead into the overnight period uh, temperatures staying warm though we're looking ahead to your day on Thursday I do think we'll We'll be able to get just a bit warmer even than what we saw today. Highs in the upper 90s. That south wind will be breezy. Humidity still staying pretty strong. In fact, it's actually going to be building as we move on into the next couple of days. We're waiting for a pattern change, which would be oh so nice. The upper levels, that high pressure that's really been with us for such a long stretch, is starting as we get into the weekend to push off to the east. And wrapping around that, we'll have some of that nice Gulf moisture to try to work this way. That means for us several days with some rain chances, and we'll start to really see those ramping up by Sunday into Monday. Monday, right now, our best shot to see any rain. Your Father's Day weekend forecast it's not a washout by any means. 30% chance on Sunday, about a 50% chance on Monday, and another benefit to the rain, which we need. Temperatures, of course, are going to go down. Now, Right now, it looks like we could see some widespread amounts anywhere from up to half of an inch off to the west. Higher amounts at this time look to be across East Texas. So our eastern counties may be over an inch of rainfall before it's all said and done early next week. Tonight, we'll keep this forecast dry 77 degrees. Tomorrow, keeping it dry as well, 98. And then your forecast does finally feature some cooler temperatures, guys, as well as some much-needed rain that will come into play late in the weekend. I see.